This update is for July the 17th, 2014. Um, here in the town of Loa, Utah. Um, came from... Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry. Um, came from the town of um, Torrey today. Did about 19 and a half miles, I want to say. Or 19.8 miles. Um, and good news is, uh, thank I, I got to thank my parents. Like They're just incredible. Um, I told them about what happened with the camera. They, um, you know, went to the electronic store at home, sent me out a new one, and uh, got it here today. Um, so I picked it up at the post office. So mom, dad, thank you so much. <laughs> you guys are the, you guys are amazing, truly. Um, so now I got a Nikon. What was it D fifty three hundred? And uh, it's pretty amazing. It's uh, it's got actually like built in Wi Fi and uh, takes really good pictures. Uh, most of the settings are pretty much the same, um, but I think like the photos and video are actually even higher quality than they were before. So pretty excited about that. Um, and have a nice warranty on it too. So if anything does happen to it um, from here to California, then I should be covered. Um, so yeah, but um, and really, uh, really cool day today. Um, we're kind of leaving now, sadly, the um, Red uh, Red Rock Canyon and uh, like just mesas and buttes of uh, eastern and east central Utah. We're now um, kind of coming into some mountains here. Things are starting to look a little bit um, actually greener, surprisingly. I saw grass for the first time today, and I don't know how long. Um, a, a wonderful woman in the town of Bicknell came uh, came over to us while we were sitting on the street, just kind of relaxing for a minute, and told us we could come sit in the shade. Um, and she had this beautiful lawn and like just walking on it was just, you forget about that. You know, when you haven't seen grass or, you know, big trees, Tori was filled with like just huge cottonwood trees. It's just, it's, it's very strange like coming back into that. So, um, yeah, really, really beautiful here in central Utah. Um, tomorrow we're going to be going up something called, uh, I think horseshoe Dugway. It's a nice big climb out of town. Um, people have been telling us about it, so should should be interesting um the weather also is just so much cooler here um it's like it was only like 82 degrees today but we i mean we're already up like almost 8,000 feet again above sea level so we've climbed quite a bit since hanksville um also uh ran into a familiar face today as well um if you remember tina from um the roadway in uh in the town of canesville uh she came driving by and Jake left like a shoe over at the motel. Uh, she, along with her husband um, and son, were going to uh, like the only Walmart for like 200 miles over in Richfield, um, Utah. And they saw us on the road. She dropped out that shoe to Jake. Also gave us cold Gatorade, um, water, um, and she also each gave us a shirt that I actually sent home in the uh, the mail just so I didn't ruin it. Um, but it's made from like gray clay from the area of Caneville. So it's kind of just uh, something to remember the town by. And, uh, you know, Tina, you're incredible. Thank you so much. Um, and it was wonderful seeing you again. Um, let me think what else. <clears throat> Staying here at a place called the Snuggle Inn um, in Loa. It's owned by a gentleman who, um, oh, geez, what was his name again? Um, regardless. He just, this place is beautiful and really reasonable too. Like, not expensive at all. Um, and the split amongst, you know, Jake and myself, it, you know, comes down to little or nothing. Speaking of Jake, um, what were you saying? What was I saying? Talking bad stuff, man. Um, this place is beautiful. It's, um, has like, there's Jake. Where'd you go? Downstairs, got a pop, made a few phone calls. Oh, I thought that was a beer. I was like, where'd you get that? <laughs> nah. um, this is uh, just a beautiful room, you know. Lots of stuff here. We have, uh, oh, what do we got here? We have the uh, Book of Mormon at bedside. Um, we have just, just beautiful here. And the cool thing about this place is this gentleman has collected artwork for the last 50 years. He's 78, and he said he's starting to sell it off. Um, oh, that might lock on me. Oh, well. 
Um, but this is just like some of his artwork. It, it's everywhere, and it's just it's beautiful. He's um he's actually he's yeah as I said he's gonna sell it now because he's like I'm 78 years old. <laughs> um, I want to do something with it, but it's 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 a museum in here. It truly is. Um, so I hope whoever buys the place uh, keeps it in as good a condition as he has. Um, but other than that, um, that's the update for the day, and I'll uh, update you tomorrow on the way to the uh, Kujram Reservoir. We're going to camp somewhere, so uh, I'll figure that out when the time comes. All right.